hey guys welcome back to another video and in this video we'll see how to create badges and it's gonna look something like this so let's clear it off and start from the beginning and I'm doing this video uh, because I've seen people finding it difficult to overlap views uh, in react native especially who are new to flexbox and CSS so through this video I hope they'll find a way to do it easily uh, so let's just get started so I'll create a view so this is the overall uh, uh, the badge view which has an avatar image icon and on top of it will have a, a small badge so I'm giving a fixed uh, width and height dimension and for the visibility I'm just giving the background color which we'll remove later on now let's have a border radius and make it circular so now I'll add a patch of view holder and this is a container of our um, batch so inside this you can have any type of view and as you've seen before we'll add a text inside this uh, batch holder so let's style this holder so I'll have a fixed width and height dimension as well and you might have seen uh, given 50 and 50 and I'll make it circular so border radius will be 25 now let's just uh, add a background color just for the visibility later we'll remove these things it's not uh, required looks good but uh, let me reduce the size of the batch a little bit uh, so height 40 and border radius 20 and now I'll add uh, the image component which is essentially our avatar or you can as well have anything uh, like your own custom view also in this place so I have already added uh, an image in my assets folder so I'm just uh, referring to that image and using require and let me see how it comes here uh, we are having an error so I have not imported let me import it quickly let's check how it's coming I have not given the dimension as you've seen so it's just taking all the space so just for the simplicity of explanation I'm just gonna give the same width and height what we have for our parent to the image component and now you see uh, the batch view is moved below the image that's because of the default flex property so since the, the parent has two view component it's arranging one below the other so to change this what I'll do is I'll add absolute positioning to our batch view and using this we'll have a way to overlap on the image component as well as move it around wherever we want and position it wherever we want so there you go and now I'll add left equal to zero and right equal to zero so this should place it in the right top corner left top corner sorry that's it guys so so easy to overlap the views now before we jump in and customize this badge so let's add few details so I'll add a text component and so the text component is to show uh, the count of the badge let's style it so while we do this we'll see some of the issues we might encounter while you know creating our own badges so that's why I wanted to show all this let's add a color white adding border color let's keep green add border width now let's check 
okay uh, we're missing text component let's import text and refresh okay you see the, the text view is going outside the holder so let's make the background color as transparent uh, so that it's clearly visible through our border like how it's going out so to fix this what I'll do is uh, I'll use justify content as center and align items as center which places our text in the center of the holder so there are other ways to uh, fix this but uh, this is an easy fix should do for now and as you can see that's working so now let's move this uh, border color and border width to our parent holder and okay it's looking good now let's change the border color sorry background color to black all right so that's good so before we go and change the position of the patch uh, we'll see how we can animate this so for that we'll add a button so on clicking of this button uh, we'll increment the count value of the batch uh, while the batch is animated so we'll do scale animation uh, so we'll scale from the zero to size to the size of the batch that is 40 40 width and 40 height so we'll call the function which is animate batch and in this function we'll create animation so you can do uh, any kind of animations uh, I'm using timing here so for this we need an animated objects animated object uh, new animated dot value and the default value is zero so initially uh, the size will be zero and we'll scale it to uh, its original size that is so that so that's why we have given two values one and now we also need a text value in our state so that we can increment it and every time we click the button we'll increment the count value of the batch so you see every time I refresh I see this background color red so let's remove it okay now the animation is not happening that's because we have not applied the animation so for that let's convert this to animated dot view and take the transform prop and in that take scale and apply our animation so all you have to do is refer the state object and pass that to assign that to scale uh, we have some typo let's fix it okay let's check whether the animation is happening now all right so you got the animation the scale happened but when I click it again it's not happening so to fix that all you have to do is set the the value of our animated object um, back to zero so every time we click the button it will start from the zero and it will scale to uh, to value one uh, that is our width 40 and height 40 so while we animate we'll also increment the uh, batch count so to do that all I have to do is increment the, the text value uh, which is in our state so let's see how it's coming so we don't have a batch we click we get the batch and it's incrementing every time we are clicking on it so that's good so now we have our batch so let's see how we can move around on the avatar so to do that all we have to do is change the left and top value so there's a simple way to do it so you can figure it out by doing some trial and error so what I'm doing now here is I take the size half the size of uh, the parent container or you can say the avatar uh, size and so it's not appearing so let me do this so when the component is loaded I'll make the batch to animate and appear so we don't have to click the button every time so on component read mount I'll call animate batch so 
so this will make our batch uh, appear the first time so let's see great so you see the 50 50 is making uh, the batch come somewhere on top of that after so let's see how we can perfectly place it so now what I'll do is I'll place the batch in the center of the of the so to do that all I have to do is take the size of uh, the batch container that is 40 and divide it by 2 so we are just subtracting the, the avatar size with the half of the batch uh, holder size that's all so we got the badge in the center of our avatar so now you might have got an idea like how we can move around this batch so if I want it in the top all I have to do is change that to zero so we got the badge in the zero um, in the top position so now let me place it in the bottom okay so now you see the problem there so let me fix it so to do that what I'll do is I'll create one more uh, view container and I will move the whole uh, the, uh, the, the other part of the patch container inside this view and I'll have a padding to that container that's gonna be half the size of our batch holder so let's see whether that fixed the issue okay so now we have seen that we have created a space you can move around the batch without uh, batch getting hidden so now we'll change the position of the batch and uh, let's move it to the right center all I have to do is left 100 and top 50 and that should move the patch to the right center great so now let's move it to the bottom right so all I have to do is give 75 to both left and top so I hope you are getting the hang of this positioning so it's, uh, it's not so difficult and the patch is uh, not perfect so we wanted to move a little outside so I gave 80 so now let's give 80 to top as well and let's see how it looks it looks good right I think it looks good enough uh, you guys can go around, uh, go ahead and uh, change the positioning of the badge uh, to make it look precise but I hope uh, through this video you've got an idea how you can overlap views in react native and through comments let me know uh, whether the video helped you or not and till next time have fun coding and thanks for watching guys